Well, Wolf, we're, we're on the brink of that. This question of whether the immunity that Donald Trump asserts even to send SEAL Team 6 to assassinate his political rivals was first placed before the Supreme Court on December 11th, 2023. There's no call to take six months to decide the absurdity of that question. And with every passing day, they're more responsible for the problem you identify of getting this trial on the books. We'll see. Ellie's right about the two forks in the road. We'll see which one they take. You could still jam a trial in. Or if they announce a test with fact-finding, the district court has time to do a mini-trial ascertain the facts and determine whether immunity applies or not. It doesn't on these allegations. And do you trust the court right now on this immunity decision that's coming down the pike? Everybody thought that might come today. We're still waiting. I'll start with the last yeah. question first. I do trust yeah. the court on this. I think the court, I think Donald Trump is going to lose. I think he's going to lose big. Um, there may be a few wrinkles in the opinion uh, that, that, may add a few steps to the process, but at the end of the day, I don't think his argument is going to fly. In terms of the delay, I wish they had not taken the case. I wish they had decided it months before, but the fact of the matter is, I don't think there is some grand conspiracy or even an effort by some of the justices to put this off to help Trump. The fact of the matter is, if, if the decision comes down June, 20, June 24th, the week of June 24th, last week of the term, that could mean that the case goes to trial in the middle of September, at the end of September or beginning of October, which would you, be highly unfavorable. You think it's, it it's still possible? Happen. Yes, because, well, be, the reason is because when the case first went up to the Court of Appeals, uh, the, there were 81 days, it was 81 days before trial. And if you, and the court has said basically, the district court has said that it's going to keep that 81 day schedule. And if you add 81 days to the end of June, you basically get the, the heat, the middle of the fall campaign. Mm. So it, it could actually backfire on Trump. But that said, I mean, I don't think, I think the Supreme Court is just being the Supreme Court. They, this is one of the most important decisions um, that they will render in a long time. I mean, I think they didn't have to take the case. I think that the D.C. Circuit had it right. But once they took the case, they want to get it right, and they want to make sure every jot and tittle of it is correct. And they mean, you know, it's like seven, it's like nine separate law firms there. It's hard to herd them all. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and there might there be a few egos involved. There yeah. might be, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's going to take till the end of June. It well, always was. And, and. and